Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today, we get to conclude our look at 2 Timothy with a passage that reminds me of Superman. So let's get to it. No one took my side at my first court hearing. Everyone deserted me. I hope that God doesn't hold it against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength so that the entire message would be preached through me and so all the nations could hear it. I was also rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil action and will save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and always. Amen. When I first read this passage for this week, I could think of Paul really laying on that guilt trip on the people who had deserted him in his time of need. No one came to support me, and I love the whole, I hope God doesn't hold it against them. Now that just drips of sarcasm, don't you think? But then I started to think about the rest of the passage, and that is what got me to think about Superman and the Justice League. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the Martian Manhunter. Now, there was a story back in the Justice League where the Earth was invaded by Martians, and the heroes were spread all across the Earth fighting off the invasion, and the Martian Manhunter was left alone to fight off the main invaders. Now, the Martian Manhunter is no slouch. He's a pretty powerful superhero, but as he fought, he started to get weaker and weaker and his strength started to leave him. And yet he fought, willing to die to save Earth. And right when it looked like he could not fight anymore, Superman comes and he puts a hand on the Martian Manhunter's shoulders and he says, it's okay, I'll take over now. And well, Superman does what Superman does and the Martians were defeated. So what does that have to do with Paul? because Paul has been fighting and defending the gospel. And as he fights, he starts to get weaker and weaker because none of his friends are there to help. But there was one who stood for him, one who gave him strength, and that was the Lord. When Paul was down, God stepped in and took over. That is why Paul is certain that God will rescue him from every evil attack, because he has seen firsthand that God does not abandon his people. God does not abandon you. When we feel weak, God gives us strength. And that strength can be found in a friend, a spouse, a partner, a child, a pastor, a song, a movie, a book, even a nap. God does take care of us because God keeps his promise. When we are down, let God take over. Trust in God, for God is good and God is our superhero. And that will do it for me this week. Thank you for watching. I will be back next week for another edition of God's Minute. Until then, have a good weekend. Take care and God bless.